Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble and I'm here with your readings for uh, January the 21st through January the 27th. Um, if you haven't been here before, welcome. I'm so happy that you found me and I really hope you enjoy these readings. And um, and if, if they don't resonate with you, first of all, it's for your sun, moon and rising. And I put all the links to the other videos below. And... Um, and if you don't, if nothing resonates with you this week, it might by the end of the week. That's usually what happens. Um, and if not, come back because there are messages in there. These are general readings, guys. And I get quite a few emails um, asking me, you know, 911 urgent. I need to know this. I need to know that. A personal reading. I spend like three days putting these meetings, these readings together. And this is for the community. For It's a general reading and there are specific messages in there, perhaps for you or for someone. My team of spirit guides bring those messages in and I give those to the community for those who can't afford readings. But if you need personal information, then please go to my website and purchase um a personal reading. I can't give free readings all week. You know, I can't. Much as I'd love to, I also have to, you know, eat and pay the rent and do things like that. And um, so if you'd like a personal reading, click on this video, uh, this link right here. It'll take you to my website and to the shop and you can see what kind of readings. I have a special offer, guys, this week. Um, I think I'm doing it for two weeks. Um, it's on special offer. It's the uh, 2019 uh, reading. So it's a reading for the whole year, right? I'm also including in that a natal delineation. Um, so this reading, the value is $325. Uh, and just for two weeks, I'm I'm uh, offering that at 150. So if you're interested in that, go to my website. Um, the link is up here. You can always click on that. And um and for those of you who just would like to support me, um, I, you know, I did lose my job recently, so I don't have any income other than what you guys are going to, uh, you know, get purchase a reading. That's the only way uh, I get some income recently. And I didn't get any for, uh, you know, the period over Christmas and New Year's because, you know, I was mourning. But I'm out of that now. I feel great. And... Um, so if you would like to support me for as little as a dollar a, a month, which is $12 a year, guys, <laughs> you know, if everybody did that, I would be doing really well because I am working on a book. I don't want to kind of uh, put out there exactly what it is, but it's kind of exciting. And um, and that link is up here too. You can check out my Patreon. I do post some articles on there that I don't offer um, anywhere else as well. And there's a, levels of tiers you know, uh, for rewards. I'm going to redo all those also. So anyway, without further ado, let's go in. I want to talk about what's just the aspects that we'll be discussing. Um, if you're coming back, sorry, I didn't even say that. Welcome back. And I really, really appreciate you. Thank you for all the new subscribers, the likes, the comments and the shares. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, and at the very least, guys, if you can't afford anything, just share it and comment and like and do all that. That really helps me too. I really appreciate that. It's a, an exchange of energy, isn't it? Um so uh, what's happening? Listen, this is a really brilliant time. All the planets are going direct right now until March the 5th. And then uh, Mercury goes retrograde on March the 5th. But we have all planets moving forward. Darling, nothing can stop you now. If you want to start something new, do it. If you want to start a line of study or, you know, take some lessons for, you know, I, that study is lessons, right? Um, start your life purpose. Go on that, uh, you know, journey. Whatever it is that you want to do something new, start a business, you know, start whatever it is you want to start. Now is a really good time to do that. Um, so the aspects we'll be talking about of course, I covered it last week is the Monday, um, the total lunar eclipse, right, which was really happening Sunday night, Monday morning. Um, and I, I, go, I go into everything on your horoscope. So also we'll be talking about on Monday as well, 
Mars is square to Saturn. I'm looking over here because I have the uh, chart over here. So um, if you're wondering what I'm looking at. So now Tuesday, we have Venus conjunct Jupiter. Wednesday, Mercury square Uranus. And uh, Thursday, Mercury moves into Aquarius. Um, whenever a planet changes uh, signs, a lot you know, there's a lot of energy around that. And on Friday, Mars trines Jupiter. So now we, uh, I'll go into all that in your horoscopes before the tarot reading. And um, so I hope you enjoy. And uh, let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your reading for January the 21st through January the 27th. This is coming out a bit later. I'm really sorry about that. But I um, was so overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm an empath, right? And I was so overwhelmed with all the emotions from everyone that I kind of had to, um, you know, take some time and um, feel them. <laughs> it's difficult being an empath sometimes, especially during the eclipse, you know. So anyway, here we are. Um, so let's do your horoscope first while I... Uh while I shuffle the cards, okay? Um, so the total lunar eclipse, even though it's just passed, you will feel it. You'll be feeling the energy for a while. The intensity is just kind of uh, abated somewhat. Um, but you are going to be feeling the effects of this, um, of this, uh, come back to me, brain of this total lunar eclipse. Um, now, um, it's if you're studying, um, this is a wonderful time for you to retain a lot of information, difficult and complex information where you wouldn't normally have that capacity. So this is a wonderful time if you are studying and you if you are, you may be studying the occult or astrology, tarot, the mystical arts um, uh, might be what you are studying or interested in studying. Um, and it is a good time to do that. Um, now, at the same time, you'll have a really profound appreciation for your family, um, your children, or your romantic partner. Um, that's probably in the forefront of your mind. Now, Monday as well, which was yes yesterday, because I am uh, I am recording this on Tuesday. Uh, there may be challenges with friends or the groups that you belong to, perhaps frustration with um, perhaps bursts of anger towards them. This could be a co-op board. It could be any kind of group um, that you're associated with. Um, but don't worry, it'll pass. Try to remain the calm in the storm. I hope you did. <laughs> anyway, Tuesday, Venus conjunct. Jupiter. So that's today generous and helpful to your friends. All your friends are generous and helpful to you. It really depends on uh, what your needs are. If you are taken care of and you, all your needs are being met, then you can be helpful to other people. And there's no reason why you can't have both of that. You could be volunteering or helping in the community in some way, even if it's posting on social media. But um you definitely have uh, helpful friends coming in. Now, Wednesday, Mercury is uh, square to Uranus. Now, surprising and maybe even shocking events uh, that change your friendships forever could be, could happen. Oh, that's enough cards for that. Okay. Um, you see, the things, the, the, the energy that we are going into um, and that we have been going through is a change. It, it, it's events that totally change our lives. So friends, we meet new people, we say goodbye to old people. You know, it's about, it's almost like you're clearing out your closet. The eclipse clears out the closet for what no longer... For, for things that you no longer leave need and it puts highlights whatever it is that you've been avoiding or that you need to take care of um so 
You could lose a long-term friend. These are clarifying cards for Gemini, please. Clarifying cards for Gemini. So we're going to clarify. Okay, so now Thursday, Mercury moves into Aquarius. Whenever a planet moves into another sign, we really feel that energy. The things change, definitely. Um, so it's, and where it falls for you, you may be even thinking about a spiritual retreat. It's perhaps something that you've wanted to go for a long, go on for a long time. It could be, you know, the Vipassana, you know, the quiet, where you're quiet for 40 days or however, 10 days maybe. <laughs> it's 10 days actually now I think of it. Um, so it could be a yoga meditation, a yoga retreat or a meditation retreat, something that's kind of spiritually based. Um, travel to another country. It's like you want, you have this yearning um, to for your life to be more meaningful. And um, so that might kind of peak on Thursday and you really might, sorry, yeah, Thursday. So you may, really might kind of look into that. Now, um, on Friday, Mars is trying to Jupiter. So your social life is on fire, right? Any invitations um, that you get should be accepted because it's a perfect time to meet influential and helpful people. Um, you have the energy and the, and the charisma to shine at any event. I mean, you're very charming anyway, Gemini. Well, this, it's like, it's almost like you have the lighting that lights you up. You're really going to be uh, luminescent. Um, so you may have lost a friend, but this is an opportunity to meet someone new um, and perhaps find your tribe. You know, maybe you'll find your tribe or maybe that's what you're seeking, Gemini. Maybe that's what will feed your soul. And that's why you're kind of thinking about, you know, getting with like minded people. I keep knocking this. OK, so that's your horoscope. And also, Gemini, what I'm asking people to do is to give me feedback. Do you like the horoscope at the beginning and then the tarot cards? Are you feeling it? Is it working for you? <laughs> I'm asking for opinions, crazy though I might be. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let me know in the in the comments below how you feel. Okay, so we're going to, clap. oh, there it is. Okay, so the first card out for you, Gemini, is the Hierophant. It's about faith. This is definitely, you're definitely moving into spiritual waters here. And you are drawn to it. Um, maybe you're changing your belief system. Maybe things are coming up or maybe you haven't had one and you are going to have one or you're just relying on. When the Hierophant comes up, it's saying, it's saying rely on your faith. So if you're worried about something or concerned, it's almost like trusting in your belief system again. It's kind of going back to basics. It's believing that everything's going to be okay and going to be taken care of. It's about, you know, trusting in divine timing um, and clarifying it is the six of air. This is like you're moving on to greener pastures. You are, you are deaf. This, you see, when this card comes up, it's like a change, right? But it's a change with kind of, you may be a little uh, trepidatious, reticent about getting in this boat and taking the leap going Look, all I know is that you can't stay where you are and you know that. So you're kind of ready to move. But there's a little fear because there's no guarantee that things are going to get better. But when this card comes up, it's saying, get in the boat. Anything's better than where you are right now. It's like you need to move on. So if you look, this can be metaphorically, right? You could be moving on from a relationship, from a job, from an apartment, from a city, from a country, from a belief system, you know, from a lover, whatever it is, it's time you are being, you're being supported. Wherever you're going is so much better than where you are now. Just go, get in the boat. And look, the next card you have is the justice card. This is like doing things for the right reason. This is, 
this is balance. Look, if you do have kind of any litigation or anything coming down the pike, this is going to go in your favour, Gemini. Um, and this comes in, it's almost to me, it's a, it's definitely a karmic card. So it's very um, important to make your decisions based on, uh, you know, the karmic values. So do everything for the right reason, for the higher good of everyone, right? Not just you, for everyone. Um, this is, you know, this is very... Um, this is a different kind of card. It's interesting. It's still got the scales. The scales are definitely there. Um, but I feel that things are coming up and it's really, it's, look, there's a beautiful triangle. Trying, right? Trying is a very harmonious, um, a harmonious energy. So I really think that things are looking up for you now. Clarifying it, you've got the hanged man. And he is just hanging about and you see him, he's like in a yoga pose, right? So he's not in pain or anything. He's just, it's kind of a pause in action. So this could translate that you may not have a, a job right now. You may not have income. You may be waiting for a payout from a court case. Something's coming down the pike. And you've got this pause in action and it's causing you stress and fear kind of thing. And that's why you can't, you can't move on. But this is saying, take a look at it from a different perspective, right? He's just looking, you know, he's looking at it, he's cocked his head. And when you look at something from a different perspective, you see something different. So this is saying, take a look at this from a different perspective. Maybe you've been looking at it from a, a wrong, uh, the wrong way and don't be in fear. You know, trust in God, in faith, in your faith, that things are going to be okay. Things are definitely going to be okay for you. I'm definitely seeing that. Now, the next card is the magician. That's saying that you've got everything that you require to create the life that you desire. This magician has four, four elements. He's got water. He's got earth, he's got air, and he has fire. Everything you need there to create anything that you need, right? You know, you've got the earth to plant a seed. You've got the water to water the seed, nurture it so it can grow into a plant with food that you could eat, right? You've got the air to breathe and the wind to clear away things, to clean things out. And then you've got fire to stay warm and to cook your food. You've got everything. Well, he he creates something seemingly out of nothing, but really he has everything. So you're the magician, darling. You have everything you need. And clarifying it is the... Um, that's my dog panting away, sparkly. Clarifying it is the emperor and the emperor is all about crossing your T's and dotting your I's and clearing things out that no longer work for you, decluttering. Now it can be decluttering your house, your office, your mind, so meditate, you declutter your mind through meditation. This can be decluttering your space, bless you Sparky, he's coughing. Uh, decluttering your space, but this is, this is, Definitely about organization and just getting rid of things that no longer work for you, which is what eclipses are all about. And they last for quite a while. Eclipses last for quite a while. Um, now, also what's just came up to me, what just kind of popped out at me, this eclipse is happening in Leo and Aquarius. The sun is in Aquarius and the moon is in Leo. Go forward, heart-centered. There's your lion. There's Leo the lion. Go forward, heart-centered and generous. Like a good Leo is. <laughs> Listen, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video. Share it on your social media. You can help me grow my, my uh, channel. Comment, like I said, give me feedback. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week.